Hey there, James Preston with you for Cowkine, and in this segment, I'll break down the term tail risk. But first, make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to stay across the latest videos from Cowkine. So what is tail risk? Tail risk refers to the additional risk involved with an asset or portfolio of assets that arise due to events that have little probability of occurring. Tail risk are predicted by a stock moving more than three standard deviations from its current price at both ends of a normal distribution curve. The strategies that investors develop to prevent themselves from suffering from tail loss are extremely beneficial during a financial crisis. Tail risk is an indicator of sudden loss and the indicator of overall investments and the future of the company, whether it will sustain or not. So why is tail risk important? The basic idea behind investing in assets is to gain future benefits from them. As a result, the goal is to invest in profitable assets that are on the right side of the bell curve. However, tail risk indicates the unpredictable and unavoidable circumstances that increase the risk of assets or portfolio of assets. Tail risks are also referred to as black swan as they are rare and unique. However, these unpredictable events cause the maximum impact on the stock market and put immense pressure on an investor's portfolio. It might also give rise to a prolonged period of economic and financial imbalance. For example, the COVID-19 outbreak can be considered an unpredictable event that has completely shaken up the world economy and caused an economic imbalance, which shall continue for a prolonged period. It's a wonderful example of tail risk where an investors need to find strategies to overcome their losses caused due to the COVID-19 pandemic and subsequent lockdowns. So what are the normal distribution and asset returns? It's assumed that the distribution of asset return will follow a normal distribution when the investment portfolio is put together. Therefore, investors assume that the probability of distribution of returns will lie between the mean and three standard deviations, either positive or negative, around 99.7%. This implies that the possibility of an asset return moving away from the three standard deviations is only 0.03%. This assumption related to the asset return works fine for several financial models, such as Harry Markowitz's modern portfolio theory and the Black Skulls Merton optional pricing model. However, in reality, the tail risk is way more impactful towards the market returns than what is analyzed from these predictions. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of tail risk? Tail risk comes with a bunch of advantages and disadvantages, but let's start with the advantages. Tail risk enables the investors to cushion the risk that might become involved with the investment. Tail risk also enhances the decision-making skills of an investor and hedging strategies which allows a steady flow of funds in the market. And tail risk develops an awareness in the market about any possible negative event that could be highly impactful. But like anything in life, there are also some drawbacks. Firstly, investors might end up investing too much money to create a cushion that will help them to cover the loss. Also, the tail risk events might not even take place at all as there is a very low possibility of that event happening. And the tail risk could give rise to a sense of fear among investors and they might stop investing in assets completely. So hopefully that gives you more of an insight into the concept of tail risk. If you found this video helpful, then make sure to like, share, comment and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay across the latest videos from Kalkine. For more information, head across to kalkinemedia.com. I'm James Preston for Calkite.